hey there welcome to this uh, short video or you can say demo session on uh, about the uh, professional version of devnet certification and uh, in this video we're going to discuss about what all are the content that are basically uh, covered uh, in the professional exam of devnet which is cisco certified devnet professional now as you as most of you might be familiar that cisco have came up uh, with the new line of certifications where it's not really following the old architecture or you can say old way of how you can get certified where in the previous certifications you actually needed to go for all the modules and pass those all the modules and then you will achieve kind of a certification like professional one but in the new one uh, or the new model you need to go for a concentrated exam and a core exam and for every section or every domain you have uh, a core exam that's there and if we talk about the devnet professional certification then you also have a core exam for this as well which is called as dev core and this is exactly what we are going to discuss that how do we actually come up or how do we uh, cater the uh, the you can say training on and certification of dev core exam which is developing applications using cisco core platforms and, and apis so you can see over here that the exam description itself says that uh, it's about developing applications using cisco uh, core platforms uh, and apis right so this exam is kind of a 120 minute exam associated with the cisco certified devnet professional certification if you pass that you become kind of a devnet uh, core specialist Right? But when we talk about the training session, that how, what all do you actually uh, need to go through in order to prepare yourself for the DevNet core certification. Okay, the, the exam code shortly can, can actually be pronounced as uh, Dev Core itself. So when we talk about that, you can say Dev Core covers certain topics that are over here. So you can see the first section talks about software development and design. The second section actually talks about how to use APIs. The third section gives you a brief about Cisco platforms. And the fourth section is about uh, application deployment and security. And the last section discusses about infrastructure and automation. Now, if you compare the content as, as of with like the DevNet Associate one, because I'll, I'll just show that to you as well, DevAsk. So if I, if I Google about DevAsk and if I give you a glimpse about that as well, you can, you can see over here, that so if you go for this particular or if you have a look at this devnet associate certification and the exam topic of devnet associate then you can see that the content are quite similar over here you have software uh, development and design over here as well you have understanding and using apis cisco platform development application deployment security and infrastructure and automation which are quite similar to these as well the first section over here is software development and design the first one in the associate is software development and design itself. The second over here is, you, is using APIs. The second over there is also using APIs. However, there is a fundamental part as well that is about understanding the APIs. But yeah, if I go on to the core again, you have Cisco platform introduction, which you have over here as well, Cisco platforms and development. And then the next section is about application deployment and security which you have over here as well application deployment and security and the fifth section is infrastructure automation which is over here as well right so there is there is just uh, they have just omitted the sixth section that you have in the associate exam which is network fundamentals and as you this this is morely about discussing about what's mac address what's vlans what's ip address what's IR routing and what's switching and various other things which generally a network engineer is aware about before going for the devnet certification right so if we look at the differences that's there then it's more like that you will be getting familiar about the introductory part about what software development and design where you will be getting to know about xml json and yaml and github and, and all the other things into the associate and every other topic that you see over here be in the every section that you have it's all about discussing about the basics and getting to know about these things uh, how they are actually deployed and all make sense but when you talk about the devnet core exam or the devnet core uh, certification course then the section takes you through the brief understanding and through the brief like implementation approach of, about how you can do uh, the network automation by using these advanced stuff 
so you can say software development design takes you through the uh, architectural model about how an application can be uh, designed in terms of maintainability in terms of serviceability in terms of functionality and various other things okay so you'll get to know about the high level understanding about how Git, uh, github actually works how to work with github how to add different project files and then upload them or push them onto the master repository that you might have in your project right these are all the content that you're gonna see then in the using api section you will be implementing robust api error handling and timeouts and rate limits right you will be you will be implementing uh, some labs that would actually kind of use in order to fetch out the network configuration but in a deeper manner okay not into the very basic manner where you will just learn about catering or learn about gathering data or list of interfaces from from a specific device or multiple devices by using either postman or python or so right over here you're gonna you're gonna learn about how to do complex operations in uh, by using apis and all okay then you can you can perform and identify ways of optimizing the api uses by using http cache controls right there will be multiple http calls or multiple http calls that can be done by but by using features of cache controlling you can actually optimize uh, your python script and then the way that that is being executed and then you can also uh, learn about how to use oauth2 authentication uh, or authorization to grant the flow of the workflow how you're working on them okay that's that's what using api actually is then in the third section you, it's 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 pretty much the uh, covers the you can say automation into various other platforms of cisco like webex like meraki like how you do you how do you use actually dna okay and how do you use about uh, cisco's apis in order to communicate with all the services that you have in terms of enterprise network in terms of security network in terms of wireless network in terms of collaboration networks okay there are different solutions that are available in uh, with cisco but how do you use those solutions and how do you communicate with those solutions by using either python or by using rest api how do you how do you like deploy automation onto those solutions that's what we will be talking about in cisco's uh, in cisco platforms section which is the third section of your devnet core exam and then in the last section we'll we'll take the application deployment or the automation deployment in a, in a further way by discussing how uh, ci cd pipelines can actually be uh, like used in order to troubleshoot whenever there is any pipeline failure that occurs like missing dependency or inc incompatible versions of uh, components and whenever the automation tests are failed right you can diagnose a ci cd pipeline failure and then you can troubleshoot it so that your automation flow or your workflow becomes back again into the tra into the traffic right and then you will also learn about integrating an application into pre-built c uh, uh, cd environment like leveraging docker uh, docker uh, containers and kubernetes features like that okay then we'll be talking much about docker how how does dockers are created and how do you use dockers into uh, your application deployment and save the number of resources or the save the amount of resources the resources that are being used right then after that we'll be talking about implementing OWASP threats so in the associate exam you might have seen the introduction or the you, you might have seen the list of OWASP threats right there are top 10 top 10 uh, lists that OWASP announces every uh, every time that actually gives you a glimpse of what all are the top security flaws that are there around the world and what are the mitigations of them so by by considering the same thing how do you actually build up the strategy of deployment into your production environment that's what we'll be looking in this section as well that's that's what application deployment and security majorly covers about and then if we talk about the last section that's in uh, infrastructure and automation you can see that uh, we'll be much more talking about the basics of ansible which is not there into evident associate uh, exam right but it is there into the uh, professional exam so we'll be uh, like discussing about the considerations of model driven telemetry we have discussed about model driven programmability uh, in the DevNet Associate exam where we talked about NetConf and RESTCON but over here we'll be talking about model driven telemetry okay like how do you fetch out the bulk of a data from the devices and how do you telemetry them and then here yeah, we'll be utilizing RESTCONF to configure network devices uh, for, for like doing uh, interface configuration, static route configuration and uh, VLAN configuration and various other things on iOS XE platform that supports both RESTCONF and NetConf 
and then we'll we'll be talking about ansible like introduction to ansible what's ansible playbooks what's puppet the, because puppet is kind of an alternative to ansible which comes into to configuration management protocols right so we'll be talking about ansible and puppet and giving you an introduction about that and how automation can be deployed by using ansible okay and then yeah we'll be di discussing about identifying a configuration management solution like whether to use ansible or to use puppet and what are the pros and cons of using both of them inside a production network and then we'll uh, the last section will actually cover a description about how and host application uh, or how to host an application on the network device by either on catalyst 9000 or on uh, or by using cisco's iox enabled devices okay which actually gives you like a linux docker container that is pre-built uh, into the catalyst 9000 devices so it's all about application hosting by using cisco's iox but yeah that's that's what is uh, covered into the entire devnet uh, core certification and that's what the content is all about talking about the labs you can say the labs however are done on to by using so we, uh, we at pinet labs do provide you the lab setup where we'll be taking uh, the help of a simulated engine that's eve ng okay and we'll be using multiple devices like csr or normal routers or xr series router or even nexus switches and by using them we'll be making you uh, like comfortable with what all are the ide environment uh, tools that we use be it vs code be it python right be it uh, pycharm or be it some other tool using github or, or some other tool uh, by using that you can actually build up an application and deploy automation into your production environment so we'll be taking the lab uh, environment into consideration uh, in terms of learning the devnet core certification exam okay and then if we talk about what are the prerequisites uh, for this particular certification then you need to understand or you need to know about fundamentals of networking that's one of the or you can say fundamentals of routing and switching both so you need to know strongly about how routing and switching actually works you need to, your fundamental needs to be very clear about that you should know about python python uh, or understanding of Python is kind of a key requirement for this particular training and then you also need to have gone through the DevNet associate training okay if you have not cracked the certification yet that's still fine but yeah you need you need to at least have gone through the DevNet associate training so that you know what we are doing over here it's just like doing a CCNA and then going to CCNP so if you have not studied about CCNA it's more likely that you will not understand much about CCNP if you haven't been through ccna okay so that, that that's what so devnet associate is basically the ccna and devnet professional is the ccnp that that's how you can consider them okay so that's what the scenario is going to be whenever we are uh, you can say discussing about the devnet core exam and if you talk about the content yeah these are basically the content that we actually are going to discuss and when we talk about the lab scenario the labs of course will be hands-on where we, we, we you will be deploying the automation onto various uh, you can say tasks or, or various solutions of cisco and when we look about that then prerequisites needs actually to be covered the duration of this particular course is going to be 50 hours okay we're going to uh, cover this particular training into 50 hours and the lab access with you guys uh, will or the lab access will be provided for 80 hours so that even after the training or during the training you can actually practice all the labs that we're going to do okay this is how the scenario will be so go through all the details my profile will be attached over there into the link okay you can go you can get to know about me and you can watch our previous training videos as well if you're not good with the associate you can you can before signing up for this particular course you can go ahead and join our devnet associate training as well where we have combined it with the multi-vendor network automation support and the fundamentals of python right so that's that's what i would say um, we had to discuss in this demo session and i hope this video will help you to understand whether this training is made for you or not thank you so much everyone have a good day ahead and take care of yourself bye bye